Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is a uh, part two of uh, taking these drive clutches apart. I'll set you up here on the bench. I'll bring it over and I'll show you, explain to you what it looks like. So. Son of a gun. That little bugger's heavy now. All right. Uh, so, um, this is the drive part that hooks to the um, final drive piece, and this is the part that hooks to the transmission. So what it is, is there's fingers in here that drive on that piece there. Now, I did some experiment last year. I tried to get away with some clutch discs that weren't exactly right. Anyways, there's still this in there. I tried to sandwich a, uh, a friction disc between them. Turns out we only had about half the power, so I'm gonna go ahead and, we can't be running with half power, not with this old girl. So we need to go ahead and put this sucker up and uh, take this clutch pack right out. Put it right on here. Pinch my fingers probably. There it is. So we'll undo the mechanics wire here and then uh, we'll put some uh, threads in here, threaded pieces in, and we'll pull this clutch pack apart. Be a three quarter inch socket. A pair of pliers, please. All right, so these things are under quite a lot of pressure, so you wanna be careful when you put these, pull these things apart. I'm pretty excited about this thing. Getting running again. It's not even all the way together. Just getting excited about it. <laughs> and it's some tough wire. Fence wire. Grandpa. I know. So you know you get something done and you grunt. <laughs> Ready? Hmm? There we go. Now we're getting some mercy. Taking forever, he says. Taking care of business. I'll get copyrighted if I start singing. I don't think it's a real artist. Oops, I just lost a piece of wire right down the clutch. That's nice. That'll be good. It's okay, we're gonna have all that apart anyways. <laughs> Taking care of business every day.
don't think those bolts are gonna ever come loose. What do you think? Hmm? Son of a biscuit. Gonna hurt. That was easy. All right, don't ever take all these out at once. You'll, you'll get a mouthful of uh, metal in your face. Got a wrench. Use these. Uh, Three quarter. Oh. Use these studs right here. Screw them down in. And this will catch it so you can release them. Maybe all right there. Before we head in. Alright. I don't want the stud to spit out of there. As we take this off, the clutch packs are releasing. They're spreading apart. Shoo, I don't need that stud coming out of there. That thing will come up and hit you guys right in the face. <clears throat> Not good. Not good. Oh, you see that? Everything's kind of just bonging around. Bong. 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 Lots of pressure. Thing, so I'm gonna get all new ones anyway so I'll go over the book here in a little bit and show you what the book says about it but relax go to it yes we're almost to the end there well, about just about there, I think. He's about there. And there she is. All right, so I'm going to take this apart just like it is. I don't want them little rollers to start walking around on me. But 
This piece here comes right off the top. I'll flip that right over. These little uh, dowels in there, if they get out of whack, whack a little bit, you can't get this thing to come back together. But this is what the clutches in it before look like. There's no drive teeth on it. So I think right there, there was a drive clutch. Yeah, I had these all jacked up. Here's an inside clutch. I had to clean them up again. I'm going to keep them the same. And I had a friction disc. And I had a drive. And then I had a friction disc. And then I had a drive. Friction disc. And a drive. First con friction disc. Drive. Friction disc with a few teeth on that one. That was a good one. I might want to keep that one around. And a drive. Friction disc. Inside drive. Friction disc. Outside drive. Friction disc. Inside drive. So I think what the problem was, if I'd have had one more friction disc in here, where it sat up against this other plate, it would have been, it would have probably drove, but I think it was slipping against this other one. And you can see the shiny spots in it, where it looks like it was probably riding there and slipping. Well, these are dry clutch. We'll, uh, should be pretty easy. I'll get my new ones in there. I'll just stack them in, you know, friction. Boom, boom, boom. Pull my center drive, inside drives in them. And it should be good. All right, so we're gonna look in the book here and see what it says here for this thing. All right, so in the book here, it shows your clutch packs on each side, your drum hub assembly, and these are the bolts I just took out right there. But uh, what I really wanna look at is the numbers. Need to know what the numbers are this thing here we go so there it shows you right there what we did we hooked the chain on we pulled it up out that was in the last video this shows you the taking the pins out of the side but um look at the actual plate here so steel disc specifications are there for that this shows you the special bolts that you take out but you can just use all thread to do that um, shows a straight edge here that you do this with all right so the stack should, should be consist of 10 friction disc and 10 steel disc alternative hubs begin with friction disc it says alternative on the hub beginning with the friction disc so I'll start at the hub side I'll start out with a friction disc there um, internal teeth passing as well to do, do, do positioning so that should be good shape um like i said we'll put it together i got some new discs coming hopefully i gotta just have 10 of these inside steel ones and uh we'll go from there all right so here's what i got i ordered these on ebay brand new set of friction disc here my inside drive discs are fine, so I'm gonna have Dominic open these up. This is the problem. It's getting it down in there without these damn things coming around. Okay. These damn dowels are gonna all fall out of it. What dowels? The springs? Those little dowels and springs. What want that. Power off. Can't do it that way. I gotta pick it up like this. Oh, can you help? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me grab these gloves. Yes. No, you can't do that. You can't tip it up. You can't tip it up like that. We gotta bring it to the edge of the table, I guess. No way we can bring it from the bottom in. Alright. 
Come underneath it, can you? Okay, no, just, just go to the bottom. I got it. Okay, hold up on it. There we go, I got it. Got it. <clears throat> You're not too bad, jacked up. This will keep them straight, though. Problem is, like, if they get off a little bit, you know, they're screwed. They won't go in there. Like, they don't take much. We need like the little, like a little pry bar to make sure they line up as we go. Right. Yep. Starting with the hub. I can, I can edit. Some center though. This holds everything together. Holds everything together where it's supposed to be. I don't know why I had two in a row. Hmm? I'm doing it right, aren't I? Are you keeping track of me? Mm -hmm. together aren't they? Seems awful thick. Yeah. Hmm? There you go. One more we gotta go. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Give me a little pry bar. <clears throat> Just a little prick, prick punch or something we can like the little line these things up as we pick. go. Hmm? Pick. All right. So, all right. So. Last time I did this, I put this together and those little bushings inside them springs, if they're off a little bit, they uh, do not go up through there and this clutch will not come back together the way it should. So it's gonna be a little tedious, but we'll get it put in here, hopefully. Facing down, we stacked it out. We're gonna restack it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those aren't lined up. See them.
Should have sprayed a little lube on them, huh? little prick on the little pick the little pick set to move around Start off with like three bolts. Yeah. But then if you don't line up, just adjust those other ones. And then once those ones are all lined, just put those other three out and make sure they're lined. Pretty much need to be long. Well, we got a longer screwdriver. Like a bad long Phillips head actually would be better. Oh my god, bad. Phillips head screwdriver would be better. Kind of go up tight until you feel them tighten up and then those little spacers will bind up. You got to kind of work them in. Make sure they're loose. Not far enough yet. Really? Nope. Just hoping they're not hitting on these ones. Ones that are coming in here, you know what I mean?
you almost need something like this. Something like That one looks like it's coming up in, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's coming up in. And that one's threading now. This one is coming up in. It's not threading yet. I need some heat in here, don't I? Yeah. the whole thing. Not really. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna get this evened out. Most time the threads have gotta be bottomed out here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to apologize. Um, this is me videoing when I thought I turned the GoPro off and uh, apparently I didn't, but uh, you missed out on me rewiring the mechanics wire and uh, just take a straight edge and run it across the top and measure down to make sure that that clutch is put in there correctly. Uh, thanks for watching and remember to please subscribe and uh, the next video should be the one where we put them back in.